Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So today in this video, we are going to look at the price action in gold US dollar currency pairs. We will look at the trend of the price action from the weekly time frame to 15 minutes time frame and mark their current support and resistance levels. And when we look at the economical events plan for Monday 13th February, at 1 pm we have high impact news plan for Swift and related currency pairs. Otherwise, we don't have any high impact news planned on Monday, so we can expect a normal volatility to continue. I'm in weekly time frame now. When we look at the price action in weekly time frame, we have noticed a price action to continuously trend on the bullish trend. And after testing the resistance level of 1959, we have noticed a price action to bounce back on the bearish side retracement. And currently, price level of 1853 is acting as a strong support for the weekly time frame and when we look at the past price action also this level had acted as a very strong resistance level and currently it is acting as a support level the current candle has formed into an doji candle which means that there is no clarity in the direction of the price action but still looking at the past price action we know that the current trend of the price action is still in a bearish trend and also the body of the doji candle has opened and closed at the same price level of 1865 which is the previous candles body's closing level so from this price action we can understand that the current market is still under the control of the sellers let us look at the price action in daily time frame i'm in daily time frame and we know from the past price action that previously the price action was in a bullish trend respecting this green color trend line or the support line and I also mentioned in my previous video that as long as this trend line is holding we can expect the bullish trend to continue and here we can clearly notice that it has breached this previous trend line or the support line which means that the current market is in a bearish trend for now in daily time frame also and looking at the candlesticks it has formed into a spinning top candle which means that again indecision candle both the buyers and sellers are in the equal strength. So for now in daily time frame, if the price action breaks the support level of 1854, we can expect the further continuation of the bearish trend. And if the price action breaks this trend line or resistance line from the daily time frame, we can expect the bullish side retracement to start from this support level of 1854. But when we look at the overall trend of the price action, it is still in a bearish trend. It has made its retracement or the pullback and we are noticing it to continue its current trend. So wait for the price action to break this support level of 1854 in order to take trade with the current trend. Let us look at the price action in 4 hours time frame. I am in 4 hours time frame. Again when we look at the price action in 4 hours time frame, after taking support on this trend line or a support line from the daily time frame, we have noticed a price action to bounce back on the retracement and this level of 1891 had acted as a very strong resistance level because we have noticed a price action to stop in the past also and then after testing this resistance level we have noticed a price action to again fall back on the bearish trend and currently this level of 1852 is acting as a strong support for the current price action wait for the price action to break this support level in order to continue trading on the bearish trend because the overall trend of the price action is still in a bearish trend for now in 4 hours time frame also and to make the analysis easier I am going to draw a channel pattern or a resistance and support levels and based on this resistance line and the support line we can still notice a current price action is still in a bearish trend trading within this resistance line and the support line if you want to enter on the bullish side trade wait for the price action to break the previous high which is going to be around 1890 based on which you can enter on the bullish side retracement but the values within this red color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 4 hours time frame currently the trend of the price action is in a bearish trend trading within this bearish channel pattern and current resistance level is around the level of 1867 once this resistance level is broken next level of resistance it's going to be around 1889 1902 1913, 1924, 1940 and 1959 and on the bearish side if the price action breaks the support level of 1852 next level of support is going to be around 
Let us look at the price action in hourly time frame. I am in hourly time frame and when we look at the price action in hourly time frame, we have noticed it to trend on the bullish side and then to continue with bearish trend, breaking this support line from the daily time frame and took support around the support level of 1852 and we have noticed the price action to retest this resistance line and to bounce back on the bearish side retracement. So for now, this resistance line or the trend line from the daily time frame is acting as a strong resistance for the current price action. Wait for it to break this resistance line if you want to freshly enter on the bullish side retracement trade or wait for the price action to again bounce back on the bearish side retracement and to break this support level of 1852 in order to freshly enter on the bearish side trade in hourly time frame. So for the hourly time frame, this intersection level which is going to be around 1874 is very important for the bullish side retracement to start and this support level of 1852 is very important for the bearish side retracement to continue. And the overall trend of the price action from the higher time frame we are noticing it to trade within a bearish channel pattern. So I would recommend you to trade with the current trend or wait for the price action to break the previous high which is going to be around 1890 based on which we can expect a fully side trend reversal to start in hourly time frame. So the values within this red color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in hourly time frame. Currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1867 and support level of 1861. Once the price action breaks the support level of 1861, next level of support is going to be around 1857. 1852, 1848, 1842, 1834 and 1824. And on the bullish side, if the price action breaks the resistance level of 1867, the next level of resistance is going to be around 1871, 1876, 1882 and 1890. And once the price action breaks this resistance level of 1890, we can expect a bullish trend reversal to start in hourly timeframe. And until the price action is trading below this resistance level of 1890, we can expect the bearish side trend to continue in hourly time frame. Let us look at the price action in 30 minutes time frame. I am in 30 minutes time frame and we know from the past price action that previously the trend was on a bearish trend. After taking support at the support level of 1852, we have noticed a price action to trend on the bullish side retracement. As long as the price action doesn't break this resistance line from the daily time frame, we can expect the price action to bounce back on the bearish side and to continue with bearish trend. Once this trend line or the resistance line is broken, we can expect the bullish side retracement to start in 30 minutes time frame. For now, the current trend of the price action in 30 minutes time frame is on a bullish side as long as it is trading above this trend line or the support line. The values within this red color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 30 minutes time frame. Currently, the price action is trading between the support level of 1862 and the resistance level of 1871. Once the price action breaks the support level of 1862, next level of support is going to be around 1857, 1852, 1848, 1842, 1834, 1823, and 1811. And once the price action breaks this resistance level of 1871, we can expect a bullish side retracement to start in 30 minutes time frame. Please refer the hourly time frame resistance levels for the bullish side targets. And as long as the price action is trading below this blue color resistance line from the bearish channel pattern, we can expect the bearish trend to continue in 30 minutes time frame also. Let us mark the support and resistance levels for 15 minutes time frame. So the values within this red color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 15 minutes time frame. Currently, we are noticing the price action to be trading within the resistance level of 1866 and support level of 1863. And if the price action breaks the resistance level of 1866, the next level of resistance is going to be around 1868. 
That's all the analysis for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video to be useful, press that like button and share this video with your friends.